Hi everyone, you're probably wondering what does a T1 in MRI imaging mean? In a prior video, I mentioned that the Lamar frequency is used to interact with our protons. We flip them in a 90 degree angle and after that we need to wait for them to recover. They recover their longitudinal magnetization and that recovery in longitudinal magnetization is defined as the T1. Specifically, it is defined at the 63% of recovery, that's known as our T1. It's also known as our longitudinal magnetization recovery or spin lattice. Those are different names for the interactions that occur and the magnetization that's recovering. The curve that you see here shows that 63% and that 63% will be representing only one tissue. In reality, when we have these curves, we should imagine that we have different curves because every tissue has its own T1. So the correct name for T1 is T1 weighted images because we really weight the image towards a T1. So let's say I'm gonna image now in a T1 weighted image, I select this interval here which corresponds to an area near the vicinity of the T1 of different tissues. What that allows me is to detect differences in recovery between different tissues and that creates an image. In theory, the higher up they are here, the wider they're gonna be they're gonna appear on the MR images, and the lower they are, the darker they're gonna appear on the MR images. And that really explains the basics of T1 weighted imaging. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe. Number by the length of the scan because the length is going to be directly proportional to our patient's dose. So we multiply that times the length and 